And it is day 18 in the Atlantic hurricane season, day 36 in the eastern Pacific, and we currently have a few um, tropical uh, disturbances at the moment, two interesting ones as well, two tropical depressions that have formed in the past day, tropical depression 2 in the Atlantic and tropical depression 4 in the western Pacific at the moment, and these storms may um, turn into name storms in the next few days. Um, and we also have two other invest, 92W and 93W in the western Pacific area, both with low chances of development. Number 4W in Emong is the Pacific name on that one at the moment, just um, the Philippines name rather. Uh, it's just to the east of the Philippines at the moment, it's expected to move towards the north, um, affecting the Japanese uh, chain islands and then perhaps the Japanese mainland in the next few days. And we also have two, a dep tropical depression 2 in the Atlantic, which has formed in the Caribbean, not too far from uh, the Honduras coast, and has moved over Belize very uh, recently and made landfall and is now over the Yucatan Peninsula. It's expected to go towards the west-northwest, towards the Bay of Campeche, and then um, and the Gulf of Mexico as well before striking Mexico itself. Uh, the Indian Ocean as well, still quiet here, no invest at the moment. You can see one or two areas of interest, uh, areas of tropical development which may occur, but probably not. Uh, considering the time of year. So let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures and you can see the eastern Pacific warm waters continuing off the Mexican coastline, 30 degrees or more perhaps here. Um, in the um, Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, one or two areas off the Cuban coast and maybe Louisiana as well reaching 30 degrees now. Uh, the North Indian Ocean, not as warm as previously, but the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea remain warm areas of 30 degrees or above, especially around the Philippine coastlines. And that's where Tropical Depression 4 is right now, 4W. Uh, Emong is the Philippine name, no name assigned internationally yet. Um, and it's currently a tropical depression and is likely to move towards the north, developing into a tropical storm as it moves towards the north and affecting the Japanese islands, um, probably passing closest to Okinawa before moving towards um, the mainland Japanese islands um, and possibly affecting things there as a tropical storm as it turns post-tropical as well. Currently it's wind speeds of 30 miles per hour, a pressure of 999 millibars as it moves towards the north at the moment. No warnings in effect in the Philippines or elsewhere, um, but that's the situation on that one at the moment. Tropical Depression 2, which has just made landfall over, the, over uh, Belize in the Yucatan Peninsula, currently 35 miles per hour, 1008 millibars and is expected to move towards the west-northwest and perhaps has a chance of becoming a tropical storm just before making a second landfall in Mexico um, over the southern Gulf of Mexico in around two days' time. Uh, that is perhaps in a little bit of doubt at the moment, uh, but we'll see what happens once the storm goes back over waters again, because of course it's overland and obviously um, conditions aren't very favourable overland for tropical storms. Um, so let's take a look now at the satellite imagery. You can see the western Pacific here. You can see at the center of the image here um, the current uh, tropical depression, tropical depression 4 in the Pacific, Emong the Philippine name. Uh, towards the left hand side in the South China Sea you can just about see um, some clouds associated with Invest 92W I believe um, and Invest 93 which was well off to the right of the image on that um, satellite imagery and you can see Tropical Depression 2 its progress there it's been moving generally west northwest you can see the center of the storm perhaps uh, moving towards the um, Belize and making landfall in the very few last few frames and it has made landfall um, whilst I've been creating this current animation so let's take a look then at the model ones the CMC first of all you can see two systems developing in the eastern Pacific and perhaps reaching tropical storm or even hurricane status um, down the road in a few days time and you can also see a system developing in the Atlantic perhaps off the North Carolina coast um, and perhaps making landfall over there not really developing in uh, tropical depression 2 at the moment uh, the ECMWF predicts a system in the eastern Pacific at the end there you can see becoming quite a broad system towards the end of that one doesn't really again develop tropical depression 2 but it may be the case that the moles haven't picked up on it just yet uh, the GFS predicts a bit of low pressure down in the southern Gulf of Mexico and again predicts another system forming in the eastern Pacific. doesn't predict two, just the one, um, but it seems fairly in agreement in terms of the models that we'll have at least one system forming in the eastern Pacific um, out, well out to sea by the looks of it, and probably not making landfall before dissipation at least, and as the NAFGEM as well, predicting a bit of a storm forming over there. Uh, so let's take a look at the predictor season scores then, June the 18th. The top three um, remains the same because no storms have formed just yet. Uh, that might be very different tomorrow. Uh, Ken with 108, Typhoon Bob with 101, and Herka Melissa with 99. 
points. That's the top three at the moment. You can submit your own totals on the Force the Team website, forcetheteam.com forward slash interactive. Just press the 2013 predictor season button and you can submit your own totals then and um, it'll be added onto the leaderboard whenever I get a chance to. Unfortunately, it's not automated. I wish it was, um, but at the moment, I have to do it all manually, so it might take a little while before you get to see your prediction on the leaderboard. So what happened on this day on June the 18th, 1972, Hurricane Agnes peaking as a Category 1 in the, in the Atlantic, Subtropical Storm 1 forming in the Gulf of Mexico making landfall in the Florida Panhandle in 1982, Barbara dissipating in the Eastern Pacific, Boris dissipating for a second time in the Eastern Pacific, Depression 2 forming in the Gulf of Mexico, Depression 1 dissipating in the Eastern Pacific and Barbara peaking as a Category 1 storm in the Eastern Pacific in 1989. In 1992, Tropical Depression 2 dissipating in the Eastern Pacific, Arlene formed in the Gulf of Mexico the next year, as did Beatrice in the Eastern Pacific. A letter forming in the Eastern Pacific in 94, Adolf picking as a Category 4 storm in 1995, Adrian forming in the Eastern Pacific, as did Arlene, dissipating in the Atlantic that year in 1999, and Carlotta forming in the Eastern Pacific in the year 2000 on this day, on June the 18th. Also, we had 2003, Typhoon Sudelor peaking as a Category 4 storm in the Western Pacific, Fengshan forming in the Western Pacific in 2008, Depression 1 forming in the Eastern Pacific in 2009, Tropical Storm Celia forming in the Eastern Pacific in 2010, and last year, 2012, the third storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, Subtropical Storm Chris forming in the Atlantic, um, quite north in the Atlantic as well. Um, we all remember that, one, I'm sure. And don't forget that you can track any storm that forms on the Force 13 website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking. We'll take you straight to the storm tracking pages, and there you'll have a bit of, the, a bit of an overview of the, um, of the whole world. Of course, it's the Northern Hemisphere that we're interested in at the moment, with all the storms going on there at the moment. And you can search basin by basin, Atlantic, Eastern Pacific, Western Pacific, North Indian Ocean as well, when that becomes relevant. And you can look at the um, forecast, forecast track map, and also any information that's relevant to the storm its intensity of course as well and um, any warnings that are in effect of course there aren't any at the moment but that may well change in the very near future with either storm that's out there at the moment depression 2 or depression 4 and of course you can follow force 13 on any of the um, social media outlets that we use youtube facebook and twitter at the moment uh, just search force 13 you should find us easily enough and don't forget to show your support by liking favoriting subscribing and following on uh, force 13 and i very much appreciate um, all the support that you do indeed give me and um, very much appreciated indeed uh, the next bulletin is coming up around the same time tomorrow that will be bulletin number 23 coming up on june the 19th around midnight and there may be some bulletins uh, some um, tropical storm updates coming in the middle of the day as well if that is necessary on either depression 2 or depression 4 but until then that's it for now